Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm starting a new course and this video is about uh, the prerequisites and the rough course outline of the same. Uh, this course will be about group theory. Uh, and let me just get started. So basically, there are a very minimal prerequisites for this course. I'll be assuming that one is familiar with the notion of induction or the well-ordering principle. Those are really the same things. Uh, if you have not seen it before, you can follow this lecture of mine, lecture 1.1 of the real analysis playlist. Uh, it basically says that every non-empty subset of natural numbers has a smallest element. And you can also follow the link that is flashing on the right hand corner of the right hand upper corner of the screen to which will take you to this video. So this is a very simple and very um, on first sight, at first sight, a somewhat underwhelming statement, but it's quite powerful. Anyway, so I'm assuming that uh, you'll be familiar with it. And uh, then the next thing I'll assume is that you're familiar with the notion of relations. Again, if you don't know what that means, you can go to this lecture of mine, lecture 1.2 of real analysis, or you can follow the video link that is flashing again at the top right corner of the screen. Uh, most importantly, we'll be needing the notion of equivalence relation. All of that is explained in this video. Or you can refer to any source you like. These things you can just Google and figure out in no time. Uh, next, I'll be assuming that you're familiar with the notion of fields. A field is basically a set which allows for addition, multiplication, division, and addition. Sorry, addition, multiplication, subtraction, and division, those four operations. So just like the real numbers, complex numbers, rational numbers, but there are other fields, uh, especially finite fields, which is the most interesting kind of fields for this course. So I'll assume that you know about them. I will introduce finite fields separately, or at least the, the finite field that we need. That one I will introduce. Uh, so, so that's one thing I wanted to point out. But uh, it will be good to know the axiomatization before we actually see that example and one can again look at this lecture, lecture 1.4 of real analysis uh, on my channel. Uh, you can follow the again video link that is flashing at the top right corner and it will take you there. Alright, I'll also assume some very basic familiarity with linear algebra. I have a whole course uh, of linear algebra on this channel. It's the first course. I'll be adding more videos later but right now it's the first course. Uh, and I will assume very rudimentary parts of it. Just if you if you know what these words mean, vector spaces, linear maps, bases, dimension, rank nullity, um, mat matrix of a linear map, if just, just, just some very basic concepts. If you're familiar with that, that's good enough. And lastly, so I'll assume high school level familiarity with real and complex numbers. So just uh, nothing more than that. You don't need to real. You don't need anything about real analysis. Although I keep referring to real analysis uh, in this uh, particular slide, but uh, you don't need to know anything about real analysis per se. These particular videos are what are important for the concepts that I list out. Okay, and here also you don't need to know anything about real analysis. It's just the high school level familiarity with, with real numbers is good enough. So 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 far, uh, so far these are the prerequisites and I don't think you'll need anything more than this. Uh, and let me uh, go to the course outline. So I myself do not know if uh, I will be doing more than this or not. I think I will be ultimately, but uh, this much I will definitely do. And also I should mention that I do not intend, intend this to be a very solid course in group theory. I do not uh, feel that one should spend too much time on finite group theory uh, and one should move on to more interesting subjects. Not that this is a boring subject, but I just don't see the point of spending too much time on it. My main focus will be on number theoretic applications and some counting applications. Uh, and let me just state what are the things that I'll be covering. So first I'll be going over some elementary number theory like uh, Euclid's theorem which anyway whatever that is I, I will get to, get to it and uh, modular arithmetic so you may have or may not have seen things like this. If you have seen this and know what this means then the first section will be very smooth sailing and you can just skip it in fact. But if not then I will develop it from the very basics. Okay, and then I will be moving to groups. So I will define what a group is, take some examples, subgroups, Lagrange theorems, normal subgroups, isomorphism theorems, cyclic groups, abelian groups, permutation groups, 
you know those things uh maybe more of that i right now don't even know myself uh and then i will be briefly going into rings uh, because i want to cover chinese remainder theorem this is a very basic elementary number theoretic fact but we will look at it with the prism of ring theory all right uh, and uh, we'll see some application number theoretic applications of this and then i'll be doing group actions and silo theorems and then perhaps i'll also do some counting theorems like burnside's lemma in fact it's a lemma that is not due to burnside's but is but it is wrongly attributed to burnside anyway i'll i'll probably do that so roughly the, these are the things that i will be covering i'll most likely cover more than this so yeah i guess uh, you will enjoy the course uh, i really like finite group theory uh, at least the things that i know i like uh, there are things that i never bothered to learn which are covered in a standard course and i don't think one should spend too much time uh, and one can read those things whenever one needs given this foundational thing that that i will be taking care of all right so so much uh, for this video i hope to see you in the next actual mathematical video all right thank you